on this outing, we've decided to travel quite a ways out on a lake, and James wants to target whitefish. Now, to me, they're not the easiest fish to catch, summer or winter time, because they normally feed in deep water. But James is on a pattern where the whitefish are coming up to very large shoals in the open lake and feeding anywhere from 20 to about 40 feet in depth. Most anglers targeting whitefish will either use tip-ups with the live minnow, and if you're gonna be using a tip-up, one of my favorite is the Tip and Jig Total Ice Fishing System. It has the most sensitive trigger on the market, so you can detect the lightest strikes, and when you hook a fish, even if it's a big one, it has a locking mechanism where the rod can't be pulled off the stand. And what I like about it is that it uses a spinning reel on a handle where you can interchange the tips from a light, medium, to heavy action. So for those of you that like to fish bait, not just for whitefish, but for any species of fish, the tip and jig is an excellent option. The one thing that I really appreciate on the handle of the actual tip and jig is that it's got like these, uh, see the little grooves right there? So when I'm using mitts like I am now, because that wind is really cold and I was scooping the ice out of my hole so my hands got wet, it's got those little uh, indentations, which is ideal even with a mitt to actually hold. If they weren't there, if uh, you got a good fish on, the rod could slip out of your hands. And the other thing that's really nice is those interchangeable tips. Right now I'm using the light action tip because we're going with light line in this finesse presentation. So really the tip and jig system, even though we've got the tip ups set up behind me, is perfect for jigging like this. Very sensitive and when you get a fish on, no problem fighting it. 